Hey guys, this is a different video. Would you rather have 10,000 subscribers or a Starbucks coffee for a while? Well, if you pick the first one, make sure to watch this video. And if you didn't drink your coffee and come back to this video. And guys, I know the title might sound a little bit strange, like Starbucks coffee versus YouTube. You might be thinking like uh, Starbucks is suing YouTube. No, nothing like that. I'm going to talk about wasting money versus investing money. You might be thinking, this kid doesn't know anything about investment. Well, I know a little bit, like with a few dollars a month, you can buy like a really good editing software. Or a few dollars a month, you can actually get ranked on Google Engine. So I know a couple of things, but let's just jump to this video. Let me just jump quickly into the shadows. The notification shout out goes to Brune Master. Congrats on being first in yesterday's video and shout out to you. And the everyday fan shout out goes to LG Blade. Thank you so much for being supportive on my channel and shout out to you. All the time I get this comment on my videos. You're only lucky because and growing because you have like good equipment and you're lucky that you have like Kind Master Premium and I and I get that a lot. And that is actually understandable when it comes to the point when you're paying rent or buying food. So of course you have to buy food or to like feed your family, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today I'm simply talking about preference choices. So for example, an iTunes movie to rent is probably $4 and the same with the Starbucks coffee. And both of these will bring you joy for a limited amount of time. So if you watch a movie in the morning, you'll definitely remember it, but not for that long. And same with a Starbucks coffee, it won't bring you joy for a whole day. The Starbucks coffee will probably give you energy for like about an hour, but the next morning you'll have to buy another coffee again, which means another $4. And this is the easiest example that I can think of right now. So if you want no watermark on like a mobile device, then you can just get Kindmaster Premium. And for those of you who don't know Kindmaster, it's a really good video editing app. So not for a one day you go and get it, but you can get it for one month. And that is going to cost you $4 a month. And of course, that's if you don't buy it for a full year, because then the price is going to get even lower per month. Or you can get a YouTube extension tool. You can get one of these two extension tools. I'm not sure about how much like vidIQ is, or you can get TubeBuddy, the pro version for the half discount for if you have like a with less than a thousand subscribers. And that's $4.50 a month. And that's definitely more value than that movie and the Starbucks coffee. And I'm not telling you what to do. Your iTunes is your iTunes and your Starbucks coffee is yours. Your channel is yours. But I'm just saying growing your YouTube channel is way more valuable than buying an iTunes movie and drinking a Starbucks coffee. But you have to determine that for yourself if that's the case for you. Or another example, combining the price of one coffee and one movie a month. What can that bring you? I've had Final Cut Pro for about three years and the price of Final Cut Pro is $299 or $300 and it's a one-time payment. And I've had it for 36 months, so 300 divided by 36 is $8.33 every month. So you see, for $8, you can have an amazing editing software. But in reality, it's even cheaper because the first 90 days is free. So if you had Final Cut Pro for 39 months, the price for every month would be $7.69. Including if you calculate the free period, that will be your average monthly. So again, one movie, one coffee, or one amazing editing software. I personally would choose the software any day. And to grow a channel, you have to have effort, time, and energy. But it could definitely help if you have the proper tools on your channel. So this is going to make your journey easier. You'll edit your videos better and generally grow your channel faster. And then at one point you can monetize your channel and then you can buy multiple iTunes movies or multiple Starbucks coffees every month. And that'll feel so much better knowing that the money is coming from YouTube, right? But if you actually want to get to that point, make sure to click one of these two videos. They both help. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.